everybody, it's Scott Salen from HypnoThoughts Live. And as you probably know by now, I am speed dating with hypnotists. And the reason is fun and simple. HypnoThoughts Live is the largest hypnosis conference in the world. And because we're so big, it's difficult to decide where you want to learn. And so what we've done is made this simple. I'm going to have quick conversations with all our pre and post conference presenters. So you can talk to them, uh, understand what they want to do, what they're bringing to the conference. And then you can decide if that's the right fit for you, where you are in your career, the kind of work you want to do, and you get to make the informed decisions. So when you come to HypnoThoughts Live, it's easy for you to get the best information. And I am joined uh, in a speed date with somebody I've known for over 20 years which is a weird way to speed date. Uh, you can already see his face and you recognize it immediately. It's my friend and guru, uh, Dr. David Snyder. David, how are you? Hey guys, how you doing? Good to see you, Scott. Good to see you. So, uh, you know, obviously you and I have known each other forever. We came up in the industry together. Um, I created HypnoThoughts Live. You created this training juggernaut that, uh, that you do literally all over the world. You've been uh, a huge supporter and presenter of HypnoThoughts Live. Obviously, we're grateful for that. What are you bringing to HypnoThoughts Live this year that people need to know about? This year, um, we're going to be starting off with our flagship um, Zero to Hero uh, hypnotherapy course. It's called Identity by Design. It covers seven stages of personality and identity. And with it, you can literally uh, deal with, uh, rebuild the building blocks of personality. It gives you a very powerful, very strong skill set that you can use. It'll teach you how to systematically remove the negativity people don't even know they have, how to remove secondary gains. Uh, it'll teach you how to re reprogram the voice inside people's heads so that it builds them up instead of, uh, you know, turning, telling them, giving them all the reasons why they can't do something. Then we take that, we install default driver states like uh, playfulness, curiosity, relentlessness, positive states that are your default go-to states that allow you to just move through the world from a very different state of consciousness, perceiving opportunities and, and chances to, to upgrade your life. Then we're going to do this. We're going to systematically remove all the negativity from your past so that when you look back on the past, you only remember it in ways that make your life better. We're going to transfer all the energy out of your negative, uh, your negative memories and transfer them into your positive memory. So the positive memories get even stronger, more powerful, more compelling. Then we take that whole sequence of events and we install it at the genetic level, at the pre-identity level, which is right before your very first memory. And so that your neurology has a template to process all of your experiences through. And then we teach you how to install through deep trans identification, how to install the traits, qualities, and characteristics of people you truly admire so that you can build on the identity that you've customized and add more skill sets and attributes that allow you to systematically um, become the person you want to be in the very best version of yourself based on who you desire to be rather than who nature and nurture and culture have conspired to make you. You know, and then from there, you get, you'll learn instant and rapid inductions. You'll learn how to remove pain in seconds, how to remove pain, uh, physical and emotional pain. You'll get your very first taught uh, introduction to what we call holonomic regression and pleasure-based regression, which is a different form of regression skill that allows you to systematically kind of, kind of like when you upgrade the operating system on your computer and it, and it just kind of loads around all of your software rather than overwriting it completely. This is, it's a program, it's a, you can see it on YouTube, it's called The Gift, and it's a pleasure-based regression technique that gives you all the foundations for regression, which is your next level of training. But our goal for Identity by Design, which is our pre-conference, is for you to be able to do this stuff anytime, anywhere, under any circumstances, for any reason. And it's... And I want to call something out on this pre-conference class, because I, I think it was last year or the year before when you were teaching this class, I don't remember exactly when it was. But I came in and I uh, introduced you to the, your class um, mm -hmm. because I think that what you've done with Identity by Design, I really like. Um, and I, I've seen you working on it for a long time, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I really like about how you structured this course is people who are going through this program with you can be working on this on each other in the class and also on themselves. Yes. So people who are watching this are thinking, well, is this so I can do it to others? or I can do it to me? And the answer is yes, you can yeah. do this to anybody who's made out of people. Yeah, the, 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 again, you and I know from, from years and years and years of doing this stuff for free that half the people who come into a hypnotherapy training are coming under the guise of helping others, but really what they wanna do is help themselves. So yeah. what we've done is we've, we've created a curriculum and a, and a training method that simultaneously helps you do the, we call it three by three. But basically the way it works is for every technique you're shown, you have to do it three times as the subject, three times is the operator. 
So by the time, and we, and we make you track your reps. So by the end of a four or five day training, you've got literally been hypnotized hundreds of times in many cases, or close to hundreds of times with a high degree. And you, you mark your successes and you mark when you're not successful. So by the end of that four or five days, you have a log of all the work that you've done, but the transformations are going on inside of you throughout the entire process. And they keep going right. weeks and months after the training, you're still evolving because of the work that you did during those four. Yeah, Cause months. you planted seeds. Right. And so all this stuff, you know, some of these things take time to, um, not just expose themselves, but some things just require opportunity that mm -hmm. aren't in a classroom. So, you know, a lazy example, but if someone has a fear of flying, they, you know, in the room, they might do some sort of, you know, test, mm -hmm. but the real proof is when they go get on a plane in the week. Yep. Um, and so, and like I said, maybe a lazy example, but there's so much that happens after the course that, you know, stuff is showing up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's your pre-conference. That's for sure. Yep. We've got stuff during the conference. I want to come back to it. Let's talk about your post-conference because you're one of the few people that we give a pre and post-conference to. Yeah. So what are you doing uh, after? Okay. Well, it's ironic really because vibration. We're, we're doing a class called Vibrational Healing, which is a, a version of my vibrational influence training process. Now, vibrational influence is something that I have a love-hate relationship with, <laughs> um, primarily because um, when most people talk about energetics, a lot of times you have three people, three different energy workers in the room. We're all talking about energy. They're all talking about something different. Yeah. And, so there's, and, and one of the problems is in, especially in the energetics field is that there's a lot of, there's a lot of people passing off a suggestion for energy. And it's an interesting frame. Yeah. I think you're right. Right. And while it's important to understand that suggestion and energy are flip sides of the same coin, they are two different aspects of that coin. So one of the things we do with vibrational healing is it's a four day course. And, and for this, for hypnothoughts, people were waiving the prerequisites. Usually you can't get in unless you had either identity by design or killer influence, um, because it's about how you work with your nervous system. But what we're going to teach you is, a, is, a, is based on a hermetic, seven hermetic principles. We're going to teach you frameworks for energy, for the most common energy healing modalities. And then we're going to teach you systematically, once again, how to clean your energy field, how to remove uh, blocks to your energy and success, how to do remote healing. We're going to teach you uh, medical qigong. We're going to even teach you some things to do for psychic self-defense, uh, clearing your chakras, but all from a perspective of nervous system first. In other words, when we look at the realm of hypnosis and metaphysics, it's very common for people to try to go from a top down. To, this is how spirit works. So this is how it must be in the physical world. We don't do that. We say, look, there's one place where every single discipline that human beings express or engage in meet where they all and that's the autonomic nervous system yep. everything we do everything we generate whether you're an nlp person a hypnosis person a reiki person doesn't matter all of that has to pass through the lens and the prism of your nervous system before it can express itself so right. if we start to study what the nervous system does we can understand how the energy works and so what we've done is we've we've we've, we've elicited or extracted from the aura a code, a map, if you will, of how this system actually works and how all these different energy models fit into that. And we teach you that very simple, very clear understanding. And you start practicing. And, and again, we'll show you, um, like if you've ever seen the energy spinning technique that we use, which a lot of people do, we're going to unpack that for you and show you how and why it works, how that relates to Chinese five element theory and, and Qigong and all these things. Color breathing, which is uh, one of the newer ones that we've come out with it based on Brent Baum's work. Because at the end of the day, you're a light-based being. The universe or the human being is an, um, a holographic information processing system. Your light is basic. And that's what quantum physics is telling us too. Yeah, energy, and, yeah. And, and, and so the problem, of course, is, is that, that's that we understand that abstractly. But how do we go through the process of evolving energetically and spiritually using hypnosis and NLP and holographic memory resolution and tapping into the different levels of energy. Because remember, everything about you is nested loops of energetic fields communicating and processing. Information's translating up, information's translating down. How do we make that simple? How do we go through the process of rapidly healing people, tapping into just not the energy field, but if you, if you, if you accept that there's an energy field and, and you accept that there's a collective unconscious, you know, if you think about morphogenic fields and things like that, how do all these things factor in and, and how does that work in the human being? 
to get really powerful, powerful results because that's what it's about. So you're going to learn about Reiki. You're going to learn about product healing. You're going to learn about DNA theta healing. You're going to learn about Bankston. You're going to learn how to actually change the molecular structure of water. That's something you're going to prove to yourself by the end of the class. You're going to learn how to manifest things. You're going to learn how to unpack your own stuff, not just on a, um, a content level, but on a vibrational level and a, and a substance, what we call a substantial level. So everything that we do is training you for something else. Everything in our, in our identity by design at the, the, the beginning of the, of the week is a, is a, is a training program. It, we teach you the hypnosis, but it's actually preparing you for higher level applications. And everything that you do in energetics is also in, uh, embedded within the, the substructure of the identity by design training. But because people are coming to learn hypnosis, we don't emphasize that part. Once right. you get to vibrational influence, now you'll understand how everything you're doing in identity by design is preparing you for higher, more subtle, energetic, and even remote applications. Because you can take a, a simple technique like the gray room. And if you understand how distance and remote healing works, you can actually use gray room on somebody else from across the freaking planet. And we've tested this over and over again. We've actually done it through Zoom where we actually take the, turn the cameras off and in and killer influence and certain state control drills, we have what we call bridging drills. We get rapport with somebody and then we send information back and forth. And we actually make them sway, hmm. right? And we've done that with the cameras off for people around the planet. We've tested this in innumerable ways because one of the things that, that's important is we, we don't want you to have a theory. We want right. you to have a series of experiences because once you've had the experience, those gates open and you can't go back to being the old person. So everything is gonna be a system of experiences that allow you to get your hands on something and, and calibrate change. We may, or, I don't know if we'll have time to do it um, at this class, but I, I, what I like to do, especially in our vibrational influence classes is one of the things that we do, especially when we start working with remote healing and remote influence is we actually hook people up to blood pressure monitors. Like we'll take blood pressure readings, yeah, we'll take yeah. heart rate, body temperature, right? We'll take baseline readings and then we'll take, we'll take a, 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 bo a box and we'll write different commands in the box and we'll mix them up like raise blood pressure, lower blood pressure, raise body temperature, okay, yeah. body temperature, right? And so we'll have people partnered up and then we take baseline readings and then the person will go off and they'll be, they'll randomly pick one out of the cup and, yep. that's, and that's what they have to change. Yeah. Right. At, and so at distance, at distance. Yeah. And, then, and they, after that, that set, after that round is over, they come back and they compare what changed. So I've got two more questions for you. I'm going to put them mm -hmm. together. They're not directly connected, but I want to put them together anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. The first question is, who is your class for, like in terms of experience level and all that? And then the other question is for those people who don't know you and, and who aren't familiar with your work, your YouTube channel, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Um, can you just give a, a brief uh, explanation of why you're qualified to talk about the stuff that you're bringing to Hypno Thoughts Live? Okay. Well, uh, I've been a practicing hypnotist uh, and studying hypnosis since I was 15 years old. Um, I've authored over, well, actually, if you look at my website now, it's about 54 different products, but I, I say 15 different products in various forms of human influence. I've had a practice in Solana Beach, California uh, mm -hmm. since 2015. 2005, where my specialty has been treating physiological illness due to repressed emotion. And so, uh, like most people will deal with weight loss or nail biting or, or smoke cessation. Uh, I've been dealing with things like terminal cancer, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, uh, and any form of PTSD that you can name, everything from active shooters, cult abuse, dissociative identity. Dis I mean, that's been my, my mainstay for almost over 20 years, has been dealing with these high level. Uh, problem and in that and during that time i've i've had the opportunity to study many different healing modalities and i have a i have a doctorate in acupuncture and oriental medicine i'm actually working on a second doctorate right now in medical qigong which oh, is cool. a stuff that they outlawed in china um back in the in the falun gong days but anyway um so i'm working on that and that's and but i've been studying many forms of energy healing i have a I have a master's degree or master's trainer in uh, reiki uh, i've been in the reiki master since before reiki was cool I've been studying Kabbalah since before Madonna ever heard of Kabbalah. So I'm very much a pre-Madonna. Oh, I like that. And uh, uh, DNA theta healing, advanced DNA theta healing, pranic psychotherapy, pranic healing. Uh, I'm certified in the Bankston energy healing system, which to me is actually uh, one of the most fascinating and simple healing systems out there and probably the least known, uh, but it has more documented cases of curing 
cancer in animal controlled double blind laboratory studies than any other healing system on the planet. It's insane that you can go to Bankston, you can go to uh, Bankston Research, I think, or Bankston.com or something. I forget, I'll have to give you his, his email, but yeah, he's, got, he's, yeah, he's yeah. got all the, he's got all the studies that he's done at major medical universities with rats bred to die from cancer, injected right. with the cancer, that's 100% fatal. He teaches this system to people who don't even believe in hands-on healing. And the, the, the study rats get cured. In fact, they get so cured when they try to re-inject the rats with cancer, it doesn't take, right? Yeah, that seems like an important, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, they're they're really well. these rats are genetically bred to be susceptible to this cancer, right? With a cancer that's 100% fatal, they're re-injected with the can and it doesn't take, right? yeah. it, and it gets weirder from there. But um, I've, I've been, I've, I, I, I'm not certified to teach the Bankston system. I will teach you what I've learned from the system, but only Bill and one other person in the world can, are allowed to certify in his system. But his work impacted me tremendously, and it really, it really clarified and simplified a lot of things about how the energy, how you, the autonomic nervous system and the whole anomic nervous system in the whole interacts with the universe, right? And that's really what it's about. It's about learning how to self-evolve, and because most of us are coming at this from a desire to 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 help, and to heal, and to actually become, uh, understand ourselves better. There's mm -hmm. a series of processes that we're going to guide you through, the series of, of techniques that you learn for healing. But we'll also, just like identity by design, they're going to change you, and they're going to change your. We're going to give you experience, and everything we do is based on a gnosis, G N O S I S, direct right. experience. Right? It's not right. about theory. It's about what can you do with what you have. Um, so, um, let's see what else. Oh, well, for the top for the last five or six years, I've been the number two NLP trainer in the world, except for one year in 2020 when I was voted the number one NLP trainer. Sure. In the world. Yeah, you you beat um, Bandler that year. Yeah, yeah, and he's never let me, well, actually, it's John's never let me forget it, but um, anyway, but the truth is, is that NLP um, actually gave us a tool to explore these energetic disciplines and understand the quantum and the neuroscience of the modern era with the, the metaphysical and mystical trainings of the past, because NLP is all about seeing the world through process and structure, and when you yes. look at everything in terms of what they're doing, they're all these things are telling you the same thing. They're just using different words for it, but the mechanics yes. are identical. And the place that all of these, the ancient past, and I'm talking the Christian mystical traditions, Kabbalistic mystical traditions, Buddhist mystical traditions, Taoist mystical traditions, and quantum physics, yeah. Neville Goddard, modern law of physics, they all meet at the human nervous system. And so because NLP gave us the understanding of how important structure of subjective thought is, we can now look at these energetic phenomena from the past and the, the studies of the future and create tools and techniques that get us there in the shortest amount of time possible. And that's what vibrational healing is. It's the fast track to becoming a master of your own energy fields and using that ability to help other people while, while evolving yourself at the same time. It's such cool stuff. Um, in, in the spirit of speed dating, though, I have to keep the trains running. Um, and you and I will talk for hours and hours and hours about this, as we have done many times and will continue to do. Um, I'm looking forward to hanging out with you again in, in Vegas this summer. You and I haven't seen each other in person in too long. Um, to people who are interested in this, you've got a lot of great choices. That's why we've been making these videos. But if you go to htlive.net, you click on the button that says schedule, you'll be able to see uh, course descriptions on uh, the classes that David's teaching, and you'll be able to check out right there. It'll make it real easy for you to, from the website, register for these courses and see what else is going on to make sure that you're getting the classes that are most aligned with your highest needs right now. Because one of the great things about our community is uh, we want to make sure that you have a great experience. Uh, and every instructor, every presenter wants to make sure that you're in the best class for you. And uh, we have such a congruent commitment uh, to our attendees. So I hope you will be one of our attendees and I hope you will take one of our classes. Check out David's stuff at htlive.net. And David, thanks for doing this and I'll see you soon. My pleasure, brother. We'll see you soon. Take care.